Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ted Silverthorne breaking in with some urgent news for you coming from Iceland. The uh, KSI, which uh, I believe stands for Crazy Soccer Iceland. What was it? My, my producer Judy lets me know that's not actually what it stands for. Anyways, they're apparently in charge of all the soccer, they call it football over there, operations for the country. In a surprise move, they had gone without youth teams this preseason. Despite the fact that their youth setup has allowed them to knock England out of the Euros and make it to the World Cup. So, they tried an experiment in the preseason. It did not go well, and they have reactivated youth teams starting immediately. That's your breaking news for today. Coming up tonight at 8 o'clock, from elected to arrested, an American presidential story. Now back to the dog show you were enjoying before we broke in. Have a good evening. Hey there, and welcome back to From Backpack to Boss, Nordic Journeyman Edition with Stoke Sarar. So, with that intro, let me just kind of explain what happened. As you'll notice, we now have a U19 team up there. Um, so, we, we, member of the community in the Discord channel had created the, the database that has... Um, the the third I think it's like the third and the fourth division in Iceland in it and the Faroe Islands those things aren't built into the game on the front end you can edit database files you can add them in he noticed a problem obviously when I released the episode and there wasn't a youth team there's a thing inside the editor where you can disable or enable or whatever I don't know how to do it I'm not an expert at this um, the youth team and I said well if it's just if it's just Stoke Sarar, that's not that big of a deal. Like, realistically, in a journey, it's not like we're going to be here for 10 seasons. So, like, if we move on and all the other clubs have got youth youth teams, then that's that's totally fine. But it turns out all of Iceland was without a youth, te youth team. And that's a, a bit broken. And so, the problem with that is if you change the database, you, like, re-upload the database file, essentially, you can't do that in the middle of a season. Does that make sense? So I had to restart the entire like experience, except this time I just put myself in charge of Stoke Sorar. And I, I tried to get the same players that we had in the last episode. So we've had to do some finagling, but we're pretty much where we were with about two changes. So I want to walk you through that. And that's why we'll, we'll just, we'll just pretend that there was an experiment and it's been changed. And, one result's been different for us, but really it's it's all the same. So uh, the big difference is we've actually lost our key player, Vern. Or I was told in the comments you only call people by their first name unless they're really in trouble. So we'll call him Marcus, our center back that can also play defensive midfielder, which was really nice. He's gone on to Berksecure in the third division. And he won't even talk to us. He says, sign whatever the price. Well, we don't have money, neither do they. But he won't talk to us because our our status as a club isn't where he wants to be. It's a fair play to him. So, in this version of the journeyman, he's no longer available. And then our backup goalkeeper, which I could... I mean, do I care? Yeah, but I don't really care. He did the same thing. He went to SR, which... I don't even know what to... They must be in, like, some obscure other division. Because they don't... They don't appear to have a division. Interesting. Yeah, so he went down. Okay, interesting. And he's the backup. He could have been the backup of the fourth division. He decides to go. To Maybe he had to move. Maybe he's got a girlfriend. Who knows? Um, so we have picked backup Levi <laughs> Gustafsson, Aaron Baldurson, and Christian. I've learned the P. The thing that looks like a P O R is actually T H. So Thor. Janssen. I think we have to call him Thor, right? But then I did some additional scouting. I waited until about the time that we were last episode, and I picked up Halur Christian Asgirson, who is quite a nice-looking striker. I mean, he's definitely more of a poacher, advanced forward at this level. He's 39, and he's three and a half star current ability. Yeah. I mean, sure. We'll give you a first-team contract. Enjoy. 
And then we just picked up Benjamin Eli Oskerson, who's a 19-year-old midfielder, four-star. Again, I'm, t- I'm just taking a swing and a miss on these folks, right? Like, we have a scouting staff, but there's not enough time right now. I just need bodies. And so we got a minimal – I can't remember what, what was revealed, but there was some green showing on his scouting report. Maybe it was the passing and the work rate or something like that. And I was like, sure, we'll, we'll, we'll sign him. We'll put him on a rotation contract. And if he doesn't like it, he can leave. It, we can't do anything about it anyway. So that's kind of what happens at the young levels or the young levels, the low levels, right? Like if someone offers you, you know, five euro a week, you're going to take it. I don't blame you. So come on in and while you're here, play well, please. Thank you very much. Hopefully that doesn't jack up the dynamics though. So we've literally just brought him in. So uh, let me show you the schedule. So we, we drew, so that was different with not not Spirun Falag. Yes. Then we played GG, which is awesome because in gaming, right? GG is a good game. Um, and beat them 1 0. Vid uh, Atli. First names. First names. First names. Atli getting us a 61st minute winner. Um, we played all right that game. Midas or Midas. Midas. I don't know. Um, really disappointed, to be honest with you. I, I just. I have to show you this own goal, though. I l- this might be the worst. Maybe Do I save it until next episode? Ah, what the heck? Let's show you now. Let's show you now. Th- this may be the worst thing you've ever seen in your entire life. Prepare yourself. Are you ready? Here we go. This is our goal. In the second minute. It's bad. Oh, it's so bad. All right. Janssen. Oh, that's what we do. We, we we throw it to the other team, so they head it right back to us. It's all part of the plan. Okay, ball to the top. Watch this. Watch this. <laughs> oh, man. I was dying. Uh, we really deserve. We were we pretty much dominated that game. And then they, they get an equalizer. That's fine. But the penalty in the 87th minute was just crushing. What I also learned is that in the League Cup, which apparently is like a preseason, I don't understand how it's a preseason, because, okay, but whatever, it's a preseason cup, every win is worth 2,500 euros. So that win allowed us to go get, like, one of our coaches, I love when the coaching staff is like, hey, I'm going to go get a badge, and you're paying for it. Like, whoa, bro, like, hold up, right? Uh, I don't have a badge, right? So I went to the board and said, hey, can I go get a badge? They're like, yeah, that seems like a good idea. So we've still got positive cash flow for the time being um, because of that one win, right? The 2,500 euros. But uh, that's what's going on there. Um, we did, let's go look at the staff. We, we picked up similar, not exactly the same. Gunnar uh, Antonsen was already here, so we kept him because he was just as awful as everybody else. We picked up John, we'll just call him Thor- Thorlacious. Thorlacious. John um, who was slightly worse than the other? Co- I felt like it's a fair trade. We get a youth team, but my coaching staff is a little bit worse. Um, they're okay. I, that wasn't nearly long enough for you to see this. I also had a request for comment uh, in the comments to change the color so like stuff would stand out. So essentially, what I've done, it's like there's a high level that gets a green, there's a medium level that stays white, and if it's below six, it's red. And you'll notice there is lots of red on our team. So the names are different because everybody that was in, assigned to the club by football manager, by the, the match or by the engine of the game was made up names. So the names are different, but again, I thought it made more sense to make a change two episodes into the club than potentially jacking something up like four seasons down the road. And all of a sudden there's no youth team or whatever. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys as to why I did that. So, working with the youngsters, 15, 4, and 4. Mm, my scouts are just as bad as they were. I don't even know. 4 and 3. Delicious. Delicious. And then uh, 4 and 4. Mm. And then we got our physios. I'm not even going to bother showing you that. Uh, but I will show you the U19s. Yep, they're all, all gray all the time. What is interesting, and I feel like this would be kind of like abusing the system, is they look quite good, at least in comparison. Because it's like a, it looks like the standard youth level uh maybe for ice i don't i don't know they're they're not as bad as our current crop of folks i mean there's some red to be sure like they're not world beaters but 
I'm, I'm not going to use them because I feel like that's not exactly that's not exactly fair. But we did hire a head coach because they didn't have anybody. He's amazing at his job. We 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 had we had or had the assistant coach posted. Yeah, still do. No one applied to it. Not a single person wanted to be an assistant coach. Excellent. So today, let's go on. We're not going to do a double hitter today because I had to explain that. So you were already like nine minutes in. Oh, if you've stayed this long, I love you. Because that was just a lot of me explaining and talking. Uh, so they're favored. Hodor. Like, spoiler alert. I do not watch Game of Thrones, but I feel like that's a reference. I'm sure you're going to leave comments if it is a reference that I should watch. I'm not going to watch it. But to be... All right. So they're top of the table on four points. We're on three because we got a win and a, and a loss. That's pretty much fair because when I was playing through it, we had two draws. So, I mean, we're right where we should be, essentially. Um, except we have 2,500 pounds in the pocket. Yes. All right. So we are rotating some players in today. Primarily, it's these two center backs because you always want to rotate your center backs together. Don't leave anybody in with any experience. Why would why would you do that? Um, and then we're throwing Ben. We're going to call him Ben. Benjamin in straight into the central midfield on support. We're playing, as we were, counterattacking, flexible, more direct, early crosses, drop deeper, close down more, get stuck in. We're not pumping the ball in the box because we're not as tall. I don't think we're like 5'11", 6 foot, 6 foot 1", which is, to be fair, not bad, but it seems like everyone in Iceland is a giant, so... We're not doing that. He always wants to just... I guess I shouldn't really trust these, the... <laughs> John. Uh, because, you know, he's at the same level that the rest of the club is at. So, we will mark and close down their striker. That seems to be a good idea. Since he's solo up top. Uh, we're going to be cautious here and say... Um, Let's, we know how good we are. Let's go punch him in the face. I like it. I like it. Here we go, people, people, people. Not people, people. Here we go. We're kicking off. Game is thinking. All right. How many fans do we have today at home? Seeing the, maybe maybe we should be Stoke Sutter, but we're Stoke Sutter. It's, it's the name of the town versus the name of the club. I'm not going to. We're in Iceland, people. There's 400 people that live here. They probably the, the players probably are like they work at the the coffee shop downtown and at the there's like a ghost museum. Um, oh, we're applying pressure to that center back. Mm. Oh, get him, get him. Um, that I saw on Google Maps that looks quite interesting. Maybe they work at the hostel. Okay, oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. He was. Is that the guy? I just want. I can't click on it. I, that's got to be the guy we're supposed to be marking, right? Like, right? Okay, we're going to go start going in here in a little bit on their right midfielder. And oh, so the right, oh, the right side. <laughs> Tactics, people. Um, let's exploit the right flank, people, please. I don't know. I'm thinking they're slightly more tired than the rest of the, the, the team. So maybe we could take advantage of that. We have two shots. Lovely. And oh, game is thinking. Okay, okay. Oh, we have three shots. We have three shots. Oh, they have a shot on target. Danger. Danger. We're wearing them down. We're wearing them down. I like how we have it on the right, and, and a majority of our attacks are on the left, and apparently, they've been granted a free goal. Oh! Oh! I'm not going to celebrate yet. Oh, come on, boys. Stick with it. Oh, not another one. No! Okay, he, that's not the one that just got the yellow. Is he going to get one? Yes, he is. Oh, nothing like a dangerous free kick at the top of the 18-yard box. Oh, that's a goal. That's a certain goal. You, you block the penalty and you let this one in, don't you? Oh, right off someone's face. Oh, Martinson has a concussion. But you saw it. In Ingeson or Ingelson or whatever his name is. <laughs> like karate chop that on the penalty. Noise. Okay. This is a lot of the highlight down here. Can we can we break yet? Oh no, we're not gonna show you us breaking. We're just gonna let them have all the highlights, shall we? Here we go. Here we go. Ball chipped in. Okay, comes right back out. Do something with it. Oh, don't oh, that was awful goalkeeping. I thought he was gonna loft it over him somehow. Hmm. Lots of not lots of people not in the ball not in not in the mixer. Okay, we're stepping for. Oh, okay, I thought that was going to. Uh, I can't. Budvarsson. Oh, 
Okay, right. We're going to spring the trap on the right side. That's that's what we're going to do. Yeah, here we go, people. Here we go. Right side. Yeah, let's... Yeah, close them down. This is this is probably horrific tactics, isn't it? It's okay. You can judge. Um, no, no, no. We're going after everyone. Get him, boys. Get him. Go hard on that guy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We're springing the trap. I don't know if it's the right trap. It may be a trap that we're trying to... Like, while we're springing it, it collapses in on us and is a disaster. They have had two shots on target. To be fair, I think that's from the penalty and the free kick at the top after the penalty. And so, really, we've had the first real shot on target is how I'm going to judge that. And we're going we're gonna to score here. We're going to get a free header. No. Idle? Idle? Oh, no. It's a 2v1. It's a 2v... Oh, Pucci. Oh, oh. Welcome to 4th Division Iceland, people. You could just say it was amazing goalkeeping. That's fine. Okay, he's on a 5.5 because of that. Surely it's because of that. And maybe he missed the penalty? He's demoralized. Boys, we are not supposed to be in this. Um, uh, uh, we deserve to win this match. Let's go and do it. I mean, if you look at the... Yeah, they, don't, they don't care. If you look at the stats, I'd say that's a pretty fair, you know, assessment. Okay, hey guys, there's no pressure on you. Oh, thanks, boss. I love how you're complacent. Maybe it's because it's preseason cup. I I'd love to know, Skosker, who's from Iceland in the comments, or somebody else, do players or teams actually care about the preseason cup? Is it actually a preseason cup? I'd love to know more about this league cup. Before we get to league play, that's quite interesting. Go get them, boys. Right side of the flank, let's go! Yeah, S. Gitterson. Oh! Oh! Get the right idea. We've had nine shots. Two on target. Don't mention that part. Oh, we've caused an injury. Oh, he's still out there. He's still out there. Potential knee injury. Would it be wrong? I don't, I don't. Uh, yeah, we are marking him tightly at all times. Thank you for the advice. Would it be... Would it be... Would it be wrong... I don't think it'd be wrong if we go hard on the guy with the knee injury. It's, it's dirty down in the fourth division, people. It's dirty. And Golfson's on a 6.3, our left wing back, who, to be fair, is like, dude, I don't know what a wing back is. And my goodness, do we pick up cards. Okay, so they've taken out wounded man, haven't they? Maybe yes, he's no longer in. Do we take? Oh, he's he's come into it. I turned. I was gonna. I was gonna sub. He, he saw the sub coming. He saw the sub coming. They've reinforced the right side. So I know I'm changing tactics a lot. We're just trying stuff out here. We'll take that off. Top of the table. I'd take a draw. I'd like the twenty five hundred pound or pounds euros though. To be fair, and we're we're in the game. We've had more shots than they have, and and double the fouls. Come on, ref, call it even, mate. Yeah? Oh, no. Why would I say those words? Just, it's a talking... No, it's not a talking to. Oh, he's our only left back, too. <laughs> that was me weeping. So we're going to take Martinson off because we can't really afford to lose him next game. So, who wants to play left back? Anybody, anybody. We're just going to change this to fullback and to, to fullback. Yeah. Um, right. Uh, Jans, yes. Baldurson likes it, but we don't have another defensive midfielder, so Jansson will come in. Um, oh, you could play. Oh, this is all, it's all part of the plan. We're going to spring the trap. They're not going to see it coming. You could drop back a little bit further. You can play defend. We're going to take the get stuck in off because it we appear to be snapping legs. And that's not what you want to be doing. I feel like maybe we should drop him further back. But why would we do that? We want a victory. We're going to get the victory with the 10 men. 
and the left back that's no longer in the game. Come on, people. Oh, and that's not good for the next game. Can we sign a left back between now and the next game? The, anybody? Anybody? Look how tired they are. You. Mm. <laughs> I'm so tempted. Oh, do we go for it? Go for it. Boop, boop, boop. Connect for. You guys know what connect for is? Anybody? We're just going to pump. Let's just try that. We'll just pump. Go route one, pump the ball in the box. That's the only thing we're going to do. We're going to hope that, uh, who is it? S. Gearson, our 39-year-old uh, up there, can get his head on a ball. He is a target man. Get, get his head on a ball and knock it in on the counter. No? I mean, we'll take we'll take a draw. A ball draw? Mm, here it is. Here it is. It's going to go in. He's going to hoof it all the way to him. Go route one. Oh, he can't get to it. Hoof it up. There you go. Make your run, 39-year-old. Collects it. Shoot. Shoot. Oh, gets his foot to it. Yeah, it's just going to... That's going to be the last... Yep. Oh, fell down. Mmm. Mmm. People. So we only had one sending off. That's a... That's a pop. pop. Oh. To be fair, it was called rather even. I mean, we had five yellows and they had three, but... It's not like they didn't have any. And so them through. I think that's a fair game. I think that's, you know, hey. Um, yeah, well done. You, pr yeah, you've proved many people wrong in avoiding defeat out there. You did great, including getting sent off. Oh, they're, they're eating it up. They're eating it up. Eating out of the palm of my hand. That's a little bird. That's my team. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not the team talk master, as you, if you haven't figured that out. Let's see. It no no injuries. Okay. Yeah, uh, we're not gonna well, we're not gonna warn him. I didn't see it, and we we don't want him to leave. To be honest. Um. Okay. So let's let's see. That oh, okay. That puts us temporarily in fifth. Uh, it could drop us, you know, down to sixth if if Ornan or Snafel UDN beat one another. But in the meantime, we're in fifth. That's all right. Um, let me know what you think of the changes. Again, I apologize for the database issues. I am going to... Uh, I forgot to mention this, so I'll put it in the in the description as well. Um, so we had... Oh, his name. I want to give you the name. He's in the community. Humby, with a double B and a Y, was the person with the database. And uh, the Northman, who's another YouTuber um, who's been around FM for like, I don't know, 20 years or something crazy like that. Uh looked at the database for me as well to kind of check some stuff out. So they were able to kind of figure it all out. We got it working. Um, hopefully you don't mind that we lost two players because that was kind of annoying to be honest with you. There's nothing I could do about it. I could download the editor, but I feel like, eh, like, well, it's not like it's going to drastically change results. I don't believe he says famous last words. But anyway, smash a like on this. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a comment. And uh, let me know what other names I said incorrectly. We'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one. All right, people. The first episode of The Journeyman Before We Picked a Club got 59 likes. The second one is sitting on 37 at the time I'm doing this. Can we get this one to 50? All you got to do is hit that little thumb down there. There's also, it's over here. There's a playlist over here and down there. You should check those out. Also, make sure you sub to the channel. But thanks for being here. Yay.